with Bitcoin and Ethereum and almost all cryptocurrencies remaining every day in the headlines and the newspapers, more and more people are jumping into the cryptocurrency market. Everybody wants to know, how do I get Bitcoin? How do I buy Ethereum? Well, this is done through a cryptocurrency exchange. So there's many things you need to know about a cryptocurrency exchange before you actually get involved. But it's not very complicated. Cryptocurrency exchanges are websites where you can buy, sell, or exchange cryptocurrency for other digital currency or traditional money like the US dollar or the euro. For those of you who want to trade more professionally or want to have a bigger stake in cryptocurrency, you will need to use an exchange that requires you to verify your ID and open an account. If you want to make the occasional straightforward trade or buy just a small amount, you can also find platforms that don't require you to verify your identification. So an exchange is where buyers and sellers conduct their business. A seller of Bitcoin or any altcoin deposits Bitcoin with the exchange's address. He can then use his positive Bitcoin balance in exchange to sell his Bitcoin or similarly if he's a buyer he can deposit US dollars with the exchange and then use the balance to buy Bitcoins, Ethereum, or whatever else. Real exchanges are really just a medium between buyers and sellers, where traders go to get their coins. It's the only place, or virtually the only place, that you can exchange fiat currency, say using credit cards, debit cards, bank transfers, to convert it into your cryptocurrency. Once you're in cryptocurrency, and you have Bitcoin, you can move it from exchange to exchange, wallet to wallet, whatever you want to do privately. But to get into that flow, you need to go to an exchange to buy your initial coins. Of course, you can go to a private individual, and he can transfer his coins into your wallet. I mean, there are off-market off ways you can do this. But the exchange, in many cases, is just a simple medium that matches buyers and sellers when the conditions for both the buyer and the seller are met. So for instance, in an exchange, you want to sell your Bitcoin, you're willing to sell it for $16,500, and you're posted there, almost like eBay. Okay. And it says, you know, number 72945 wants to sell Bitcoin at $16,500. You're willing to buy it at $16,500, so you go in and you buy, now he may only have a half a Bitcoin, but you buy his half of Bitcoin. If he has five Bitcoins, you can buy one Bitcoin, and once his, all of his Bitcoins are sold up, he's gone. And you always have to then move on to the higher price, or you can place an order that you're willing to buy Bitcoin, but you're only willing to buy it at $16,300, and you want to buy two. So then the sellers of Bitcoin will match in your order. Now, there are many different types of exchanges. There are also brokers who own Bitcoin or Ethereum, or altcoin or dogecoin, and they're selling from their ownership. So if you want to buy five bitcoins, you can go to an exchange that just owns the bitcoins, and they can sell them to you. Their prices are usually higher, and you have to buy at market price. In other words, they have a price set for buying bitcoin. You can buy the bitcoin at sixteen thousand five hundred. You can't say I'll buy it later, or say let me have an order, or you, or they have a sell price. Okay. This is actually what most people do. They don't get involved in the peer-to-peer -peer type of exchange. Just go in and buy. Well, the fact is, if you're going to invest more than a little bit, you should find the lowest price and the best exchange to buy from because these exchanges are not wired together. And there are different prices on different exchanges. So it's important to do a little homework before you start trading. So here are a few things you should check before you make your first trade. Look at reputation. Look at the fees. Exchanges charge fees and they vary. It's the wild west out there. Look at payment methods. Okay. If you want to use PayPal, you have to find one that accepts PayPal. If you're using a debit or credit card, sometimes countries won't allow your debit or credit card to be used. Okay. So you have to be careful. You have to find one that will accept your payment method. You also have to find one that will allow you to get the money back out through the same payment method. Okay. You also want, today, almost all large exchanges require KYC, know your client, means that you have to verify your identity. 
Okay, this is required by the, the big governments. It stops money laundering and fraud, and it stops, it stops terrorism. Okay. You also want to look at geographical restrictions. You don't want to deal with the exchanges in Japan, and it's only open during Japanese hours when you're living in the west coast of the U.S. Okay. And exchange rates. Different exchanges have different rates. You will be surprised at how much you can save if you shop around. And then you want to look at order types. Can you set limit orders or market orders? Market order means you're just buying at the current market price. Limit order allows you to set a price in which you are willing to make this position. Okay. Then a lot also offer what's called margin trading. They will give you a loan to buy additional coins with your current coins as collateral. So the biggest you can get is three to one. So if you own two coins, they will allow you to use as collateral to actually use six coins to buy or sell to make a profit if Bitcoin moves up or down. So a margin position is simply a way of tracking your profits and losses. When you buy a Bitcoin on a Bitcoin USD book, you are entering a long position on Bitcoin. If you sell Bitcoin, you are entering a short position. You do the opposite to close your position. Now, Bitcoin interest is growing lately, and with that comes volatility. Bitcoin is currently much more volatile than any other currency, making it a prime candidate for what's called arbitrage. Now, this is a great way to use exchanges. Currency arbitrage is the practice of taking advantage of price differences between markets. These price differences emerge because certain exchanges are more liquid than others. Bigger exchanges with more trading will drive the price for the rest of the market. Smaller exchanges follow price of the larger ones with some lag time. This lag time is what makes arbitrage possible. Arbitrage is the buying of Bitcoins on an exchange where the price is low and selling it on an exchange where the price is higher. The, so for instance, the price of Bitcoin on Coinbase is $16,500. The price of Bitcoin on BTC exchange is $16,536. The difference is $36. This is quite a decent opportunity for arbitraging. You take your five coins, you buy a 16,500 on Coinbase, and you go over and sell them at 16,536 over on BTC, and you made $36 per coin, or in a matter of minutes, you made five times 36, or $180. So overall, Bitcoin arbitrage can be an opportunity to make some passive income, but at the same time, it has risks. Attempting to arbitrage manually can be very beneficial as long as you watch closely and make sure you are placing simultaneous trades. So in order to find the right exchange for you, you need to figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it. If you're simply buying a Bitcoin to put it away and hope it goes up in time, maybe it's just best to use a broker exchange. If you're trying to just buy at the cheapest price and want to spend a little bit more effort placing your order and getting matched up and doing a transaction, it's pretty easy. You might use a peer-to-peer -peer broker. If you're looking for margin trading or ways to make additional profit, you need to look for an exchange that offers that. So there are many types of exchanges. But remember, and an exchange is a place where people buy and sell their cryptocurrency. It is not where they store their cryptocurrency. Learn about wallets. That's where you safely store your cryptocurrency. It's like your bank account, your savings account where you put stuff away to be safe. Thank you very much and watch our video on crypto wallets if you want to understand what a wallet is. Bye now.